Hi, attorneys and family members were here at their office earlier this morning for a news conference. They announced that they are filing a $100 million wrongful death lawsuit against the city of LA. Now, on behalf of the family of Keenan Anderson, an unarmed black man who was repeatedly tased by LAPD officers back in January in the Venice area. Attorneys say Anderson was having a mental health crisis and needed help from police. They say the body cam video shows he was not a threat. It appears in the video that officers were trying to handcuff him when they tased him. Police said Anderson was a suspect in a hit and run traffic collision who initially complied but later acted erratically. Police said when they tried to take him into custody, he was resistant and cooperative and struggled with officers. The LA County Coroner's Office determined the cause of death for Anderson were effects of an enlarged heart and cocaine use. The manner of death was undetermined. Attorneys today said they will have that will have no impact on their intention to seek justice. They say officers are trained to confront people and should not engage in excessive and unreasonable force, including on those under the influence. The 31 year old was a high school teacher and father to a five year old. Attorneys say he died at a hospital hours after being tased. I care not what the coroner's office says in terms of his having cocaine in his system at the time of his death. We did an autopsy ourselves, and the results were the same. But it matters not whether there was cocaine in his system because the actions of the officers were wrong. It matters not why he was in distress because it's clear from the body worn footage that he was never a threat. Attorneys say that they have filed a $100 million lawsuit against the city and law enforcement officers involved after a $50 million claim against the city was denied. Reporting live in Ladera Heights, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.